Hello everybody, Greg Stagger here, your K-12 tech guy with a video to talk about using checkboxes to select multiple items on your screen. Now, as you can see on my desktop here, I've got all kinds of different icons on the screen. If I use the mouse to hover over one of these icons, you'll notice a shaded blue box will pop up. If I move over to this one, you see the same shaded blue box, but you'll also notice a little checkbox in the upper left corner. Hmm. Now, of course, if I click on that, the little blue box sticks around, and you also notice the checkbox becomes ticked. Now, if I click on this one, I select that one, but this one becomes unselected. And that's just clicking anywhere in that blue space when something is highlighted that allows me to select that item. Now, what if I want to select multiple items? Well, let's use that checkbox. If I click just on the checkbox area, you'll notice that they both remain selected, and that's true for any other icons that I choose as well using the checkbox to select them all. Now if I click somewhere else on the desktop, I can deselect them all at the same time. Now this has the same effect of holding down the control key. So if I hold the control key down, I can select this one and select this one, clicking anywhere in that blue space when the icon is highlighted. If I'm not holding the control key, I'll only select one at a time. And that's where I have to use the checkboxes to select the multiple items, which is a handy tool, especially if you're not aware of the hold the control key down um, tip. Um, this allows folks to just simply use those checkboxes to select all these different things. Okay, so here's the big question. How do I turn this on? or how do I turn this off? Some of you may like this functionality. Some of you may see these checkboxes constantly appearing on your icons and it drives you nuts. Okay, I've seen both schools of thought on that. And so here's how we actually go about activating or deactivating that particular feature. Now, again, I know that this is one of those things where you can get to this place more than one way. I'm just gonna show you one of those ways. Let's start down here, clicking on the Start button. Then we'll click on Computer. So bring up our box. Over on the left-hand side, we'll see a button here for Organize, and there's a little carrot there. So let's go ahead and click on this to expand that. We're going to go down to Folder and Search Options. When we click on that, we're taken to the General tab of the Folder Options box. We want to be on the View tab, so let's switch to there. Then, in the Advanced Settings box, we're going to scroll down a little bit towards the bottom, and you'll see a line here that says Use Checkboxes to Select Items. Okay, You'll notice that it's checked, so that means we're going to see those little checkboxes in the corner of those icons. Let's go ahead and turn this off. We're going to take that checkbox out of there. We're going to hit Apply, and then we're going to hit OK, and we can close this window. Now when I hover over the icon, you see the little checkbox is gone. And you can just do the same procedure and just make sure that that box is checked or unchecked depending on what your preferences are. So that's how you choose to activate or deactivate the using checkboxes to select items in your Windows 7 environment. I hope this was helpful. Thanks. Have a great day.